it's really important for designers to cross-pollinate. I think you see a lot of designers who uh, not only only make one kind of game their whole career, which can be hard to break out of, I understand, but then also don't hang out with people making other kinds of games. So you have console developers hanging out with console developers and MMO developers hanging out with MMO developers and social game developers hanging out with social game developers. And there's no cross-pollination. And I can say for a fact, working on a free-to-play game now, that the fact that I have worked both on free realms and on social games has had a huge influence on how I look at the free-to-play game that I'm working on now because there's certain things that social games do really well that I think get thrown out with the bathwater, right? It's the baby out with the bathwater because a lot of people in core games hate Facebook games and don't want to think they're doing anything right. But there are some things that they do really well. So I think that sort of holistic view, right, and, and, and looking at games as a whole, just because I'm making a, a you know, fighting game doesn't mean I can't be influenced by something they're doing in Mario Kart or EverQuest or, right, any, any other game. I think you just have to be open to finding ideas everywhere.